Hey, what's going on everyone? Coach Paul Tadalan here, gym owner, husband, and dad of two toddlers and two dogs. If you've been a member to this channel for a while, I know, it's been a minute. Hey, but we're starting off the year strong with a review of one of the best things we used for our family last year. The Veer All-Terrain Cruiser. Wandering is in session, let's go. Good morning, Father's Day 2022. And we did it y'all, we gave in and we got a Veer Cruiser. You here to help, buddy? <laughs> All right, let's open her up. So, not to be confused with the recently released Beer XL that fits four kids, this is the review for the regular size two children wagon. Okay, look how thin this thing is. A lot of wagons, if not all of them, don't pack down this small. At the time of this video, my daughter is three and a half years old and my son is almost two, and we've had this wagon for almost a year. We pretty much spent an entire spring, summer, fall, and even use this thing right now in the bitter cold months of winter in Chicago. Oh yeah, y'all, real quick. We bought this Veer ourselves and we don't get anything from them for making this video, but if you do end up getting the Veer, you can hit up one of the Amazon associate links in the description. Honestly, it's my first time ever trying one of those out and it could really help the channel. Thanks. All right, so let's backtrack a bit. Two kids, naturally, of course, we started with one, so that means we've been through a bunch of different transporters. When we had my daughter, we started off with a City Mini GT2 by Baby Jogger, which we love because of its ease of use and off-road capabilities, but the storage compartment was hard to get to. Uh, then we had two kids, so we got a dual stroller Mockingbird, which we love because of its large reclining seats, cargo capacity, and it looks fairly nice, but it's not that compact and easy to use, and it's not super easy to collapse down with all the attachment modifications for carrying two kids, and its handling is okay. Uh, and then we needed to travel on vacation, so we got a Juvie Caboose double stroller that we love because of its compactability, collapsibility, and ease of use. But it's a basic stroller meant for paved roads, and we did take it through the sand once, and it wasn't that great. And you see, the beer takes all these different things from all the strollers that we had and combines it into one and offers a little bit more. Wagons in general are great because you can pop the kids in and out, it's low to the ground so they can hop in and out themselves, they're next to each other so they can easily share things like snacks and blankets, of course this means they can also fight more, but I believe from a kid's perspective it's just funner for them because of their range of view and ability for them to go into the wagon themselves and grab things. Wagons are like a lifestyle. They're like the SUV of strollers. Uh, which brings us to the Veer Cruiser Wagon. Uh, we're a Chicago family that likes to get about the city and also get out of it. We like going to the beach, the zoo, street festivals, camping, walks in the wood, walks to our nearest park, going to the nearest, nearest splash pad, and uh, you know, hitting the malls and running errands. All types of areas and terrains. So we did our research, tried a bunch of different wagons at the store, and decided to go with the Veer. Coming in at about $700 for just the wagon, it's definitely a little bit more on the higher range of wagons out there, definitely not the priciest, but we decided it's definitely the most usable, most versatile, best bang for your buck you can buy for your family. If there's one word I could use to describe the beer, it's quality. The materials, and I mean everything, are durable, easy to clean, and functional. Depending on what stage of life your kids are in, you'll also spend a bit more on other accessories like car seat adapters or infant seats or nap beds, but no matter what, you can guarantee everything is streamlined and gonna last. Uh, for us, we just have the two canopies for sun protection, the luggage extension, and the snack tray it came with. And that's all we have ever needed for all our adventures. And the beer is great because we can imagine using it even as our kids are older, and we just need to use it to transport gear. Okay, here are the pros. Why this is better than other wagons. Continuing to talk about the materials, most other wagons are built with that cloth-like polyester material that can easily wear down and rip, and it's stretched and held together by thin metal rods that can easily break and snap. Also, that material can easily soak up food and drinks that kids spill all the time, am I right? Everything on the beer is tough, wipeable, removable, and washable with a hose down. Our beer has seen all types of food, drinks, juice, milk, crumbs, bodily fluids, and still looks brand new. You see some other wagons with thin plasticky tires that might not work well off paved road, but the Veer thrived on all types of terrain, and you know it's gonna hold up and build to last. We've taken this thing on sand, gravel, grass, and dirt with no problem. 
I have uh, also seen other wagons not be able to fit inside the trunk of a car because it's not meant to break down that small. But our beer is already small enough to easily fit in our Subaru wagon and of course my truck. But if you needed to, you can easily fold down the walls and take the wheels off, which we've never had to take the wheels off, but I have seen people do it for like their cars. Um, and everything to break everything down is operated with a quick pull of a handle. Uh, some other wagons are just flat at the bottom. This wagon has a footwell. Some wagons might have a footwell, but are too small overall and don't have the cargo capabilities the Veer does. Uh, some wagons might have the additional cargo capabilities, but they sit too high off the ground and look like a large bassinet. And again, materials. Uh, just looking at this thing, you can tell that it's just at a higher level of quality than others. And you can easily push and pull this wagon. I find myself pushing most of the time unless the terrain calls for it, uh, but sometimes it's easier to pull anything through dirt, sand, and gravel, which the Veer does great at both. If I were to think of some cons, because uh, of its low profile, you might hear the luggage basket scrape on certain angles or terrains uh, or going off a curb, but it has never been a problem. Height is a personal preference, but my kids are now at the age that they can climb in and out and I don't have to worry about them falling out of it as I might from a dangerous height. And all the time, I'm just throwing the kids in and out to move from one quick location to another, and I might not have the time to strap them in, but they're in a low wagon, so it's okay. Uh, being said, for safety reasons and just in case a tantrum starts and they want out, they're almost always properly strapped in and eventually definitely strapped in if gonna be moving for a while. Also, some of the wagons are higher and sit taller than they are wider, and I think safety of it toppling over might become an issue. But the Veer is low and wide and always stable, even if you wanna make a poor decision of taking it down a flight of stairs. Uh, FYI, it held up really well, and there were no kids in it. I've heard from people it takes time getting used to pushing the Veer because pushing means you steer from the back wheels. But again, I push this thing nine out of 10 times, and I love this thing. Uh, but on the other side, my daughter loves pulling this thing. Uh, and it's the perfect height for her to pull it. Uh, my son just likes sitting and eating in it all the time. Other wagons have the capability of the handle to flip from one side to the other so that the steering wheels are in the front, uh, which is cool. But again, in all other performance and quality departments, Veer is gonna win out overall, all the time. Uh, with the additional cargo compartment, the Veer does make it longer to, and taking up more ground space versus a stroller like our Juvie that is pretty compact, more narrow, and has the cargo underneath. But again, it doesn't become much of an issue. We love packing the diaper bag, snack bag, toys, floaties, and picnic blankets in the compartment and anywhere else we can fit it. And if you're just gonna be traveling light with just a diaper bag, you can always hang your diaper bag from the handles. So that's it. If you're like me, you're probably watching a ton of other videos trying to decide if one, is a wagon better than a stroller? Easy answer is, yeah. Uh, personal preference, of course, but wagons especially if you have two kids are just more functional and more fun. But there are definitely times when a stroller makes more sense. Taking our light, thinner, and compact Juvie stroller on our Mexico trip made more sense, but we wouldn't be opposed to taking the Veer on vacation. We were actually gonna take it to California recently, but FYI, if you ever go to Disneyland, they don't allow wagons, only strollers. And even though I've had the kids fall asleep multiple times in the Veer on the go, of course having a stroller like our Mockingbird, which has the capability of softer reclining seats, is better in some situations. But you know, if you have the resources, maybe that's why it's nice having both. But that's also a big privilege. And I will say, in the past year that I've had this Veer, uh, I've probably used this more than any other transporter that we have. And I take the kids out a lot. And you're probably looking at a bunch of videos also comparing the Veer to other strollers to see if it's worth it. You know my answer on that one. And I've said all I could have to say, but let me show you all the fun we've had for the past year.
All right, everyone. If you have any questions or thoughts about the beer that I didn't answer in this video, let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey, love, peace, and happy cruising.